And so there seems to be a force way beyond the nature of the mind, right? Which is what we speak to in terms of the universe, God, this moving presence. And the more that we let go of the contractions of self, which is the finite mind and the finite self, is we open up to that moving through us. So I would say like on the somatic level, if you have contraction in the nature of the body, it's like really just throughout the day is like how relaxed are you? Right. And if there's tensions, just like if a ball's like gra- or a dog's grabbing a ball and letting it go is the same thing. Okay. I'm aware of that tension. I let it go. And just breathing through that, letting it go. So we have these conditions at the nature of the mind and the body where those conditions actually impede the nature of the universe or God flowing through us. And so when athletes find themselves in the flow state, is they finally let go. Right, they they finally let go in the nature of like um, that force moving directly through them, and so I would say that the ability to enter the flow state is moving from effort to effortlessness, and so of course uh, with a certain aptitude or skill set, one would need to initially likely apply effort. Um, if we all did go through the self realization path, then of course, like I think that would always be exactly in the flow state of where that acquired nature of skill was. And so wherever it was, it would always be performing at the most ideal point. But the reason like you have this fluctuations in performance is like both in the fact that our best is a dynamic element and it changes based on a lot of variables. But if someone were to architect the nature of their life into the emergence of the DAO or the flow state, that all of this would like spontaneously arise and um, it would be, everything would be of ease. And so I see this a lot in the nature of like suffering of what we would consider as like high performers is that they tend to be contracted around an aptitude and they suffer a great degree because of it, more so than the public would actually understand. And so they essentially think that that's the only way they feel safe to be loved uh, because everyone's told them that. Yeah, You know, and of course, like we might actually enjoy watching them perform at that level. But if you could consider and step back that the richness of everything being interconnected, that if they were in that flow state 24 seven, meaning that there wasn't a need to contract at the layer of the mind, that the suffering would dissolve and then they would be in a much different state. So their relationships, right, the people closest to them friends, family, which tend to suffer and really quote, unquote, high performers would actually be very rich, right? Um, because they wouldn't need this sort of fear-driven mentality of like moving back into like, I've got to cut everything out. I need to contract into this state and I can't focus on anything but that, Yeah, you know? And I would just say that like, that is just a misperception of the mind. <laughs> um, and so the more that they were to dissolve that, that they would actually move into the state of like a flow that happened 24 seven throughout all aspects of their unfolding of their life. And that would automatically, you know, create a virtuous cycle that would further elevate the nature of their aptitude. 